There's a huge mystery here which scholars are not addressing and it cannot be ascribed to coincidence. In a revelation that has sent shockwaves through the world of exploration and science, Hancock, the renowned maverick historian and explorer, has uncovered secrets that could rewrite the entire story about Antarctica. These revelations are so mind-boggling that they challenge everything we thought we knew about this frozen frontier. As the world peers into the abyss of the unknown, it's become crystal clear that Antarctica is not what we're being told. Forget everything you thought you knew about this barren, remote continent. It's time to unravel a chilling saga that has remained hidden from the masses. A revelation so profound, so staggering, that it has driven Hancock himself to tears. Join us as we embark on a quest to unravel Hancock's remarkable findings regarding Antarctica. Unearthing Ancient Mysteries and Defying History Graham Hancock stands as a prominent figure who has frequently found himself embroiled in contentious debates and disagreements. His professional journey is characterized by an unwavering pursuit of ancient mysteries, an insatiable thirst for knowledge, and the audacity to question established historical accounts. Born in the city of Edinburgh, located in Scotland, he initially embarked on a career as a writer. However, it was his profound fascination with the enigmatic aspects of ancient history and civilizations that ultimately defined the purpose of his life. He embarked on an unrelenting exploration of the hidden records of our world's past, traversing continents and delving into archaeological sites. Along this journey, he wove together unconventional theories that, while often met with skepticism, invite a closer examination of our understanding of history. In the year 1995, his enduring curiosity about prehistoric civilizations reached its zenith with the publication of his groundbreaking work, Fingerprints of the Gods. In this seminal book, he proposed a theory suggesting that an advanced civilization, lost to the annals of time and subsequently obliterated by catastrophic events, had left its indelible marks on ancient monuments and scripts across the globe. This audacious theory challenged mainstream archaeological and historical paradigms, introducing the intriguing possibility that a civilization, both technologically and spiritually advanced, might have existed before our documented history. Detractors were quick to dismiss Hancock's theories as pseudoscience. Nevertheless, the book captured the public's imagination, propelling him from the realm of journalism into the forefront of the discourse on alternative history. Hancock's relentless pursuit of historical truths has not been without controversy. He has been a lightning rod for criticism and skepticism, yet his work has undeniably left an indelible mark on the way we perceive the past. His unconventional theories continue to fuel discussions and inspire further research into the hidden facets of our collective history. Hancock's Controversial Theories Hancock has consistently demonstrated unwavering determination in the face of doubt and mockery. His endeavors have ranged from examining submerged structures off the shores of Japan to unraveling the enigmas of Egypt's Great Pyramids. Hancock's work is distinguished by its rigorous research and thought-provoking hypotheses, which have broadened our intellectual horizons and prompted us to re-evaluate our core assumptions about the development of human societies, the origins of knowledge, and the true antiquity of our most ancient monuments. While his ideas may stir controversy, they are firmly supported by a substantial body of evidence and have captured the curiosity of countless individuals worldwide. His relentless pursuit to comprehend the origins and progression of humanity has unveiled a multitude of intriguing connections between ancient cultures. This, in turn, challenges us to recognize that our forebears may have possessed a higher level of sophistication than formerly believed. His prominence has risen in tandem with his unwavering dedication to challenging conventional norms. He utilizes his platform not only to stimulate discussion and dialogue, but also to inspire us to scrutinize the construction of historical narratives. His insatiable curiosity, coupled with his refusal to adhere to mainstream viewpoints and his profound enthusiasm for ancient history, has propelled him into the global spotlight, establishing him as an influential figure at the vanguard of broadening our comprehension of history and archaeology.
This path of exploration has led him to the frosty expanses of Antarctica, where he has unveiled a trove of revelations that challenge our preconceived notions about this icy wilderness. Instead of being an isolated wasteland, Antarctica may be concealing secrets from our planet's remote past that could transform our comprehension of history. Graham Hancock breaks in tears. Antarctica is not what we're being told. You see, a recent revelation on the internet has brought forth a collection of documents attributed to Hancock. These documents have ignited a significant surge of curiosity and skepticism. They allude to an astounding possibility, the existence of a concealed jungle hidden deep within the icy expanse of Antarctica. The contents of these documents provide intricate plans for a covert expedition, inciting fascination and controversy of substantial scale across the world. The online sphere is buzzing with conjecture, and conspiracy theories have proliferated, with armchair archaeologists meticulously analyzing every word within these leaked materials. While mainstream scientists, cautious in their approach, harbor a degree of doubt, they regard the idea of discovering such a phenomenon in the Earth's most frigid and unwelcoming region as nothing short of fantastical. Nevertheless, amid the millions, an irresistible allure of adventure beckons, along with the tantalizing prospect of unraveling an ancient enigma and the potential to reshape human history's chronicles. At the epicenter of this captivating controversy stands Hancock, a figure renowned for his inclination toward the extraordinary and unconventional. His previous theories have already made waves in the realm of mainstream archaeology, and this proposed foray into the frozen wilderness seems poised to tip the balance. Detractors have been quick to dismiss these claims as yet another sensational tale. However, those who have closely monitored his body of work recognize the seductive potential of truth concealed within his seemingly outlandish assertions. The leaked documents hint at an extraordinary journey that promises to be far from ordinary. Preparations include state-of-the-art equipment, a hand-picked team of experts, and a proposed exploration route that would lead deep into the heart of Antarctica. Yet, what has truly captured the collective imagination of the world is the prospect of what awaits at the journey's culmination. An ancient, hidden jungle. Beneath the Ice the existence of an undiscovered tropical ecosystem hidden beneath the frigid expanses of Antarctica may initially appear as though it belongs to the realm of science fiction. This intriguing notion presented a significant challenge in harmonizing with the widely held perception of Antarctica, which is commonly envisioned as a sprawling, desolate expanse cloaked in perpetual ice and snow. Surprisingly, this belief was not exclusive to a single individual. Instead, it had found resonance among a dedicated group of researchers and explorers who had long pondered the prospect of concealed landforms and ecosystems thriving beneath Antarctica's frozen facade. The excitement surrounding this concept was further fueled by the emergence of leaked documents intensifying speculation and wonder. The concealed jungle, with its remarkable biodiversity, held implications far beyond its ecological richness. It had the potential to revolutionize our understanding of Earth's history, calling into question established theories regarding the planet's ancient climate conditions. Even more astonishingly, it brought forth the intriguing possibility that advanced civilizations may have thrived in this mysterious region, pushing the boundaries of what we considered feasible within the annals of human history. This prospect was met with great enthusiasm, particularly by one individual, Hancock, who eagerly embraced the opportunity to embark on an expedition to explore this uncharted territory. As the global audience watched with rapt attention, the meticulously crafted plans for this covert expedition were set into motion. The news of the impending journey to the concealed jungle beneath Antarctica reverberated throughout the scientific community and ignited the general public's imagination. What transpired was a captivating and adventurous voyage deep into the heart of Antarctica, an expedition poised not only to challenge our comprehension of this frozen continent, but also to potentially reshape our understanding of Earth's history. The Astonishing Rainforest Discovery the global community collectively held its breath as Hancock and his intrepid team embarked on a dangerous expedition into the heart of Antarctica. 
This hazardous journey led them deep into uncharted territory, with their destination centered on a theorized locale concealed within the frigid core of the continent. According to Hancock, this enigmatic place held the secrets of an ancient hidden rainforest, and what they ultimately uncovered exceeded even their most ambitious expectations. Beneath layers of formidable ice, they stumbled upon an untouched landscape, isolated from the influences of modern civilization, a genuine ancient rainforest, seemingly preserved in a timeless state. This revelation shattered previous beliefs of a desolate and lifeless expanse of snow and ice. Instead, they encountered a reservoir of Earth's ancient history, teeming with fossilized remnants of previously unseen plants and animals. The disclosure of this rainforest presented a direct challenge to the established conceptions of Antarctica. In contrast to the prevalent image of a perpetually frozen desert, they unearthed evidence of a vibrant and thriving rainforest resonating with the harmonious sounds of wildlife. This lush environment was bathed in warmth and humidity, hosting a rich fabric of life, defying conventional knowledge. Equally astounding were the indications of potential human habitation within this ancient and verdant wilderness. Unraveling the mysteries concealed within this hidden jungle demanded unwavering dedication and a comprehensive scientific analysis. The team diligently embarked on their mission, meticulously examining fossilized remains, conducting intricate geological surveys, and employing state-of-the-art technology to precisely map and document this ancient wonder. The findings stemming from this subglacial rainforest initiated a profound re-evaluation of our understanding of the Antarctic continent. Far from being merely an icy wasteland, it emerged as a living museum, bearing witness to Earth's dynamic and ever-evolving history. The discovery of this rainforest raised a plethora of intriguing questions. How did such a lush ecosystem thrive in what is now acknowledged as the coldest place on Earth? What triggered the dramatic climate fluctuations? What were the driving forces behind the formation of the massive ice sheets that currently envelop the continent? Did advanced civilizations indeed inhabit this region, and if so, what became of them? Aim of clues to a prehistoric climate revolution. In the wake of the remarkable discovery of an obscured rainforest, Mr. Hancock's dedicated team of scientists embarked on an extensive mission to uncover the concealed mysteries hidden beneath the icy shroud of Antarctica. The fossilized remains they unearthed provided a tantalizing glimpse into an era long forgotten, echoing whispers of a time when the icy landscape flourished as a rich and diverse ecosystem. Their foremost task involved a meticulous examination of the fossilized plant life. Initial findings indicated the presence of a dense, marshy environment that once hosted a temperate rainforest teeming with biodiversity. The preserved leaves, seeds, and tree trunks revealed a remarkable array of plant species, many of which lack contemporary counterparts. Through detailed analysis of these plant fossils, scientists managed to discern crucial information about the climatic conditions of that ancient epoch. The shape, dimensions, and characteristics of these fossilized leaves suggested that this rainforest had adapted to copious rainfall and moderate temperatures, a stark contrast to the severe modern Antarctic climate. The presence of particular plant species pointed towards the absence of seasonal fluctuations, implying a consistent temperate climate throughout the year. These revelations crafted a vivid portrayal of an environment markedly distinct from the one familiar to us today. They offered profound insights into Earth's distant past, further challenging our comprehension of Antarctica's historical narrative. The amazing find that came after was a big surprise for scientists and researchers. There was no evidence of ice sheets in the fossil record, which posed a significant enigma. If the ancient rainforest indeed existed, it raised doubts about the widely accepted belief that Antarctica had always been a frozen wasteland. The conspicuous lack of evidence for ice sheets suggested a period in Antarctica's history when it was devoid of ice, enjoying a warm, temperate climate. Elevated levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, as indicated by fossilized plant remains, could have played a critical role in maintaining an ice-free and habitable Antarctica. This discovery pointed to the possibility of an ancient greenhouse effect that made the continent suitable for habitation. As the exploration team delved deeper into their investigations, they uncovered more than just fossilized plants. 
They also found the remains of long extinct animals, which provided intriguing insights into the remarkable biodiversity of this ancient ecosystem. The notion that such a wide range of plant and animal species flourished in an ice-free Antarctica was truly astonishing. Each discovery added another fragment to the puzzle, creating a vibrant depiction of an inconceivable past characterized by luxuriant vegetation, diverse wildlife, and a climate vastly distinct from the icy cold we now associate with Antarctica. The scientific importance of these revelations cannot be overstated. They challenge and transform our comprehension of Earth's history in profound ways. The absence of ice sheet evidence in the fossil record perplexes experts and forces us to reconsider the historical climate of Antarctica. This revelation questions the prevailing belief that Antarctica has always been icy and hints at the possibility of a bygone era when the continent was free from glacial encroachment. Additionally, the presence of fossilized plant remains indicates high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere during this ancient epoch. This finding points to an intriguing theory. An ancient greenhouse effect may have prevailed, maintaining a temperate climate in Antarctica. This hypothesis offers a unique perspective on the geological history of the region and opens doors to further exploration and research in the field of paleoclimatology. Life finds a way. For many years, scientists have wondered about big changes in Earth's climate in the past, but they haven't found solid proof. The discovery of an old rainforest in Antarctica provided strong evidence for these long-held ideas. But this discovery did more than just change how we think about Earth's climate history. The ancient plant and animal remains hidden in the frozen ground told a deeper story. It showed how life not only survived but thrived in a place where it shouldn't have been able to a testament to how tough and diverse life on Earth can be. It also reminded us of how big climate changes can affect our planet's ecosystems and the life they support. Amid all the detailed scientific work, there was a sense of amazement and curiosity in the air. Here, under miles of ice, were the leftovers of a very old world, a doorway to a forgotten time and a big challenge to our understanding of Antarctica's past. Each fossil and rock layer was like a piece in a giant puzzle that was Antarctica's history. As the world came to terms with the idea of an ancient rainforest hidden under the ice in Antarctica, it became clear that this was just the beginning of a much larger story. More secrets were waiting to be found and many mysteries were still unsolved. In the footsteps of dinosaurs. The recent discovery of an ancient rainforest is changing how we think about Earth's history. We're now trying to figure out how Antarctica, which we know as a frozen, barren place, went from being a warm, rainy forest. To understand this mystery, scientists have gone back in time about 90 million years to the Cretaceous era. Back then, Earth was in a period called a hothouse climate. It had much more carbon dioxide in the air than today, maybe even 10 times more. This extra carbon dioxide created a global greenhouse effect, making the planet warm and ice-free, even at the North and South Poles. We found signs of this warm past by looking at the dirt and old plant and animal remains from all over the world. But discovering a rainforest in Antarctica is the most convincing proof we have. This ancient rainforest shows a thriving ecosystem in Antarctica when the climate was hot and wet. Lots of different plants and animals lived there, each adapted to the warm, rainy weather. In a fascinating discovery, scientists found proof of plant species thriving in New Zealand's temperate rainforests. This suggests there might have been a connection between these areas in the distant past. But this story isn't just about plants. It's also about a wide variety of ancient animals like dinosaurs, marsupials, and birds. Fossilized remains of these creatures have been found, and some of them look very similar to ones discovered in South America, which hints at a possible link between the two places. The ancient Antarctic rainforest, known for its rich biodiversity and warm climate during the Cretaceous era, gives us a glimpse of life millions of years ago. It also raises a big question. How did the world go from a lush rainforest to a frozen desert with ice sheets? Scientists think the answer might be a major change in the Earth's climate known as the Cretaceous Paleogene, or KPG event, which happened around 66 million years ago. This event, caused by a huge asteroid impact, led to a significant cooling of the planet, causing the extinction of about 75% of Earth's species, 
including the dinosaurs. While we know that the KPG event ended the warm Cretaceous climate, we're still trying to figure out how it affected Antarctica. Some theories suggest that the formation of the Antarctic circumpolar current due to the movement of tectonic plates isolated Antarctica from warmer ocean currents. This gradually brought cooling and the formation of ice on the continent. The complex interaction between geology and climate is still fascinating to scientists as they uncover Antarctica's ancient history. As we continue to study, the ancient Antarctic rainforest keeps revealing new information that changes our understanding of Earth's climate history. These discoveries don't just tell us about the past, but also give us hints about our planet's future. Although many mysteries from this ancient world are still unsolved, each new finding gets us closer to understanding the incredible history of our planet. The story of Antarctica's history is far from over. The Incredible Secrets of Antarctica's Hidden River Antarctica has more surprises to offer than just the hidden rainforest. Recently, the British Antarctic Survey, BAS, made an exciting discovery that sheds light on another interesting aspect of the icy continent beneath its glaciers. They used advanced technology like remote sensors and ground-penetrating radar to explore what's under the ice in Antarctica. To their amazement, they found strong evidence of a big river system flowing beneath the ice. This was a groundbreaking discovery because it's a huge river system in one of the harshest and coldest places on Earth. The existence of such rivers raises new questions about how water works under the ice in Antarctica. The researchers used a remarkable tool called the Rapid Access Ice Drill, RAID system, to access these subglacial rivers. This high-tech ice drill was designed to cut through miles of ice in just a few days, giving scientists an unprecedented look at what's beneath the ice. The discovery of these subglacial rivers is a great chance to learn more about how water works under the ice in Antarctica. Scientists believe these rivers help the ice move by acting like a kind of lubricant, allowing the ice to slide toward the ocean. Understanding this is important for figuring out how stable the ice in Antarctica is and how it might affect sea levels worldwide. Exploring the river beneath the Antarctic ice shows us how incredible life can be. Scientists found some amazing things in the water from this hidden river. They discovered tiny, tough organisms called extremophiles. These little guys can survive in places that most other creatures would find impossible. Picture a world that's always dark, where the ice above pushes down hard and the temperature drops so low that most living things would freeze solid. Well, these extremophiles have managed to make a living there, and they're making us question what we thought life could handle. This subglacial river isn't just interesting because of these extremophiles. It also helps us understand the water system in Antarctica, and it adds a whole new exciting chapter to the story of life's adaptability. These tiny creatures make us wonder if life could exist on other icy planets in the universe. But there's more to this river than extremophiles. It's carrying ancient dirt and clues from a time long, long ago, hidden under the ice. Scientists want to study this dirt to figure out the history of Antarctica and how it went from a lush rainforest to the frozen desert we see today. Finding this subglacial river is a big deal in our journey to understand Antarctica. Every new thing we discover, whether it's hidden rainforests or ancient rivers, changes the way we think about this distant and mysterious place. Antarctica is proving to be a dynamic and complicated world, way more interesting than we once believed. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In an emotional revelation, renowned researcher Graham Hancock breaks in tears. Antarctica is not what we're being told. His message is clear. Are we being told the whole truth about Antarctica? The icy continent, often shrouded in mystery, might not be what it seems. Hancock's profound apprehension sparks a cascade of vital inquiries. What enigmas lay veiled beneath the icy cloak, concealed from global view? Could Antarctica's narrative hold more intricate chapters than convention dictates? A poignant truth resonates. The most extraordinary revelations often emerge from the least likely domains. Hancock's emotions serve as an unwavering call to unearth the authentic Antarctica, to scrutinize its frozen heart, and to unravel the mysteries that have long remained dormant. Let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. Greenland's Paleontological Treasure Trove While scientists were working tirelessly to uncover the mysteries of Antarctica's frozen history, 
another astonishing discovery emerged that captivated the scientific community. This time, the focus was on Perry Land in Greenland, where researchers embarked on an incredible journey through time. They found ancient DNA in soil samples, which was a groundbreaking achievement and gave us a remarkable glimpse into the distant past. This remarkable process is known as sedimentary ancient DNA, or SEDA DNA, which is a relatively recent breakthrough in the field of paleontology. It involves carefully extracting and reading DNA from soil and sediment samples, a significant development that has opened the door to a wealth of knowledge. With this newfound ability, scientists found themselves capable of reviving ancient ecosystems and understanding the complex web of biodiversity that once existed on our planet. In the sedimentary DNA from Perryland, they discovered a rich fabric of genetic sequences from various organisms. These sequences, dating back around two million years, weave together a vibrant picture of a land quite different from the icy wilderness we associate with Greenland today. This DNA evidence brought to life a world that was once full of diversity, a stark contrast to the barren, frozen landscapes we see now. It revealed the existence of unique plant and animal species that thrived in Perry Land, including massive herbivores, exotic insects, and a diverse array of plant life. These findings described a lush and diverse ecosystem that existed in what is now Greenland. Interestingly, the DNA also hinted at species that were previously unknown to modern science, offering glimpses into forms of life that have long disappeared. The insights gained from sedimentary DNA have profound implications for our understanding of Earth's history. Beyond giving us a snapshot of ancient ecosystems, this breakthrough allows us to trace the evolutionary paths that connect ancient species to their modern counterparts. It's like a scientific time machine that helps us connect the past to the present, providing deep insights into the origins of life on our planet. Additionally, the discovery in Perryland contributes a vital piece to our understanding of Earth's historical climate. The presence of specific plant and animal species in the sedimentary record gives us a window into past climate conditions, such as temperature and rainfall. This revelation offers us a new way to examine and understand the ever-changing climate of our planet. Greenland's Perry Land now stands alongside Antarctica in challenging our understanding of Earth's history. It highlights how life can adapt and how resilient our planet is in the face of significant climate changes. This groundbreaking research not only pushes the boundaries of human knowledge, but also underscores the beauty and complexity of our world. The Amazon of the North. Imagine taking a stroll through a lush, lively forest. Towering trees create a green roof above and the air resounds with the calls of various animals. You might envision this as a scene from the Amazon rainforest or the dense jungles of Borneo. However, let's make it clear that we're not stepping back in time, but rather unleashing our imagination. This forest isn't in the Amazon or Borneo. It's a place known as Perryland, located in Greenland about two million years ago. Thanks to some incredible findings from the study of ancient DNA, scientists have managed to put together a vivid picture of this ancient environment. It's like having a peek into Perryland before glaciers took over. In this ancient Greenland, the landscape was a cradle of diversity a place where plants and animals thrived in abundance. There were huge trees that reached for the sky, creating a green canopy under which life thrived. Large plant-eating animals roamed freely, showing how rich this ecosystem was. A vast array of insects added to the lively fabric of life, with each species playing its unique role in the interconnected web of existence. One of the most exciting aspects of studying ancient DNA is the ability to follow the family tree of these ancient species to their modern relatives. By carefully comparing the genetic codes of creatures from the distant past with those of their present-day descendants, scientists can uncover their ancient family connections, which gives us deep insights into how life on Earth has evolved. The links found are truly remarkable. Some plant species from Perryland's ancient DNA closely resemble plants found in warmer climates today. This suggests that Greenland, in its ancient form, was a much milder and more welcoming place than the icy land we know today. Similarly, the DNA of certain ancient mammals found in these genetic records is closely tied to modern animals. 
This connection highlights the rich fabric of mammal evolution that has been unfolding for ages as species adapted and diversified in response to changing environmental conditions. However, not all the species revealed in the ancient DNA have modern counterparts. Some genetic sequences represent creatures that have long disappeared from our world. These ancient beings, while absent from our modern planet, add to the growing list of life forms that once existed but are now lost to the depths of time. Traveling back in time and strolling through the vibrant landscapes of ancient Earth is a truly captivating experience. It's like stepping into history, immersing yourself in the magnificence of life from days long gone by. This journey reminds us of how our planet is constantly changing, how it can adapt in remarkable ways, and how it has this incredible ability to transform. But there's more to this journey into the past than just awe-inspiring sights. It's incredibly important for our future. When we understand what the climate was like in the past and how different species coped with it, we gain valuable knowledge that helps us deal with the challenges of climate change. This knowledge lets us predict how ecosystems might respond to changing climate patterns, and it guides our efforts to protect and conserve the environment. These explorations of our planet's history, whether they involve discovering hidden rainforests in Antarctica or revealing the ancient diversity of Perryland, completely reshape how we see Earth's story. They highlight just how dynamic our planet is, how it can support a wide variety of life, and how it has the potential for growth and change. Have Graham Hancock's findings changed your perspective on the history of Antarctica? Share your thoughts in the comments below.